Hello, my name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, and I'm back with another exciting episode in our How to Use Zoom serial. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on how you deal with multiple screen sharing in Zoom, a topic that a lot of you are really interested in. Whether you're an educator, whether you're just a normal average information worker using Zoom and want to collaborate with others, this is the episode for you because we're going to show you three quick, easy steps to get it done and show you what it looks like when multiple people share their screens and flipping between them simultaneously. Join me here if you will. We've actually got a meeting in progress. I want you to say hi to Titus and Corolla. They've offered to volunteer to help us out. Hey guys, how you doing? So there are people that work here with us at IT Pro TV. They're actually part of our production staff behind the scenes. They're the real super duper smart geniuses that bring all our video and shows to you because they make us in front of the camera look really good because they do all the hard work. So they're sitting in one of our control rooms and they're gonna help us out. And you can see Courtney is also back there behind Corolla. Uh, she's waving at us as well. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use the existing meeting that I've already got set up. And you could see as I hover that I've got three participants. I'm in the meeting as well. I've just hidden my own view so that way I'm not taking up valuable screen real estate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just going in down here so we can see the manage participants area, see our number of participants, just to remind you that if you do wanna check out who's in your meeting, it's easy to go take a look and turn video and audio and all that on and off as needed. All right, we're gonna close that. We're gonna come over here, and in order to enable multi-screen sharing, we're gonna go down to share screen, and just to the right of that, there's this arrow that's pointing up, and that's gonna expose a little set of menu items for us that allows us to see that by default, one participant is set to share at a time, meaning I could share my screen right now in theory, or Corolla or Titus could. They're not going to yet, but they could. And if they did, I would only be able to see that one screen. But we want multiple participants to do multiple screen share simultaneously. So we're going to go ahead and either select the option right below that, or if we want to see some advanced options uh, before we decide to share and set up multiple screen sharing, we could click there as well. But either way, I'm just going to pull back out so you can see this when I bring it up. When we do this, we get a little pop-up window here. And it shows us that one or multiple participants, uh, mutually exclusive by the way, so when I choose one, notice the other option is no longer available. But if I leave one participant set up initially, I can then specify that only the host can share or all participants and who could share when someone else is sharing, by default only the host, but I can modify those before I make a decision and let one participant at a time do the share but I want multiple participants to be able to do that, and I want everybody to be able to share simultaneously. Now, notice here on the little pop-up window, the recommendation from Zoom says dual monitors recommended, because you may wanna be able to put up more than one screen that's being shared and available to you and move them out to different monitors so I can have, for instance, Titus's and Corolla screen up simultaneously if we're collaborating, we wanna be able to see that. Now, I'm not gonna demonstrate that with multiple monitors in this episode, but I do wanna just show you that that is the recommendation from Zoom. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've enabled multiple participants to share simultaneously. So we're set to go here. So what I'm gonna ask both Corolla and Titus to do is share their screens. They've got some content they wanna share with a setup. So they're gonna do that real quick. I don't see them sharing anything. They're just doing their stuff until one of their screens pops up. It looks like I think Corolla's screen came up first, so she was a little bit quicker than Titus, so she got in there first. All right, so Corolla's the first one that pops up, so I see her screen pop up immediately. She's got our little animated GIF for our office hours here at IT Pro TV up, and I'm able to see that, no problem. And notice I didn't have to do anything. Hers came up right away based on the settings that I chose, and I'm able to see that, but what if I don't wanna see Corolla's screen right now? Maybe I wanna see Titus's screen, right? So what I can do here is I can go up to the top, where it shows me, and it goes away, so you have to hover to bring it back up because it kind of disappears once the screen sharing starts, as you can see. I can see in the green little rectangle that Corolla screen is being shared, but to the right, I see view options. So when I pull that down, I've got some different commands that allow me to manipulate the screen share, things like that, request remote control, all of that. 
But I also have this option where I see under shared screens, I get a pick list of the individuals. And remember, we do see both Titus and Corolla. We'll put them in the picture there so they don't feel left out while we're talking. We can see Corolla and Titus there. And if I want to flip to Titus's screen, all I have to do is select Titus's screen there, and I can bring it up. And sure enough, we can see he's got what looks like our web page there. We'll zoom out just to make sure. But yep, that's our landing page for IT Pro TV for our website. So I'm able to look at his screen, and I can now just simply flip back and forth between the shares. Maybe Corolla's working on a project with us as well as Titus about graphics that'll go up on the web page and maybe some UI, right, user interface and UX. User design requirements are being discussed and we want to flip back and forth. We can do that just by selecting whichever screen somebody says that they want us to take a look at. Very simple, very easy. And obviously that list, if there's more users in the meeting as we go or more students in the classroom, if you're a teacher, you can just have them lined up and just click between them. It's very easy and simple. Now, one other thing that's kind of interesting when we do multiple screen sharing is the ability, as we can see here, and I'm just gonna scroll uh, down here to show you, is that we have the ability to access some tools like annotation tools that let us work with what's on the screen to point things out and collaborate with others. And so if we wanna use that, we can go ahead and we'll use Corolla screen as an example because it's a picture and we can just draw on it and do things, right? We get this entire toolbar here of tools. I'm thinking especially if you are gonna be a teacher and you wanna be able to maybe draw on a student's screen and show them something, or you're presenting in a meeting and you wanna be able to draw someone's attention to something, you've got a whole suite of tools up here that let you do that. And then when you're done, you can erase whatever you've done, but you also can clear all the drawings, meaning if you've annotated more than one, or just your own drawing when you finish. And you can also save them and make them screen captures that you can then share with participants from the meeting or the class and give them to them so that they understand what you did. And when you're done, you just simply close out the annotation toolbar and it's gone. Now I'm gonna ask Corolla if she could stop sharing her screen. We're gonna see it go away in just a second when she does. And you'll see I default back now to whatever screen is still shared. In this case, Titus's screen is still up, so I'm able to see that. So if one person drops out during the sharing sequence, we still have at least one other shared screen. If Titus stops sharing his screen as well, we'll ask him to do that right now. When he does that, you can see I go back to the main meeting area where all of us are just kind of collaborating with the video in the main meeting area, right? We could wave hi and say hi to everybody. We could see them, right? But we're no longer sharing our screens. So when you want to work with multiple shares or multiple screen shares simultaneously, you want to make sure that you're able to go down to your share screen area and you want to make sure that you're going to enable that feature. And as you saw, when I turned on under advanced sharing options, the ability for everybody to share simultaneously before I enable this, Corolla and Titus both were able to jump right in and provide us the ability to see their screens, right? And we were able to then interact. So this is how we do multiple screen sharing in Zoom. Hopefully, this is gonna be a real valuable addition to your Zooming toolkit and capability. Uh, and if it is, let us know. And if there's other things you want us to be able to focus on and show you how to do, let us know that as well. We're always looking for interesting ideas. And we're always looking to create episodes that'll help you out along the path of our Zoom serial as we show you how to navigate through Zoom and show you how to be the best Zoomer you can possibly be. Until I see you again, happy Zooming. Check out the playlist for more videos on how to use Zoom and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon and thanks for watching.